no, look through my phone. No, you can have this. And she's like, no, Ooh. you trust me. It's fine. If I meet somebody <laughs> off the bat and someone says that, I'm a, I'm a walk you, the you other already, way. You already know their motives right away. <laughs> that, obsessive. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. When it's obsessive, I feel like it, there's a problem. Cheek, make, the, make the girl giggle, you get the cheeks jiggling. Like, it's oh. like. Oh. It's just, uh, <laughs> Don't trip. Don't trip. Don't trip. Don't even trip. We got you. Welcome to Don't Trip Podcast, y'all. You're on with your host, David, joined by two special guests. So I want to say hi to the camera real quick. We got Mackenzie and Malia. Hello. What's up, everybody? Thank you for having us on the podcast. Course, yeah, I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, so we're going to get to know them a little bit. And uh, they got some questions from their fans because they're a little bit, they popping a little bit out here in Arizona or whatever. Oh. But oh. <laughs> they, they modest, they modest. But we're going to talk about some of the stuff they got from the fans. Um, it's a fan-oriented show, so it's advice at no price. That's our motto. So DM us your questions, DM us whatever you got, and we're going to try to get y'all right, get y'all from tripping, keep y'all um on track. Like I say, we're not professionals, though. So our advice may change. Our <laughs> advice may be a little iffy at times. But if you get a good laugh out of it or get a little um, life life motivation, then take that. Um, thank you for rocking with us, everyone that's rocking with us. Today's episode, we've got the regular don't trip questions for you, as I said, and we've got red flag, green flag. So we got relationship advice. Yeah, the girl's got I'm it excited for that. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Too. I just like holding the flags. Okay. I know. I'm like, <laughs> mm -hmm. directing traffic over here. So we got that. And we were just talking before the episode, we're going to throw a little simping or pimping in there for y'all. So we got some pickup lines that we're going to throw at them, see if they think it's simping or pimping. And then uh, if it will work, <laughs> fellas, go ahead. Nah, may, <laughs> nah, maybe try it out. Maybe try it out. <laughs> but we're gonna get to know y'all a little bit. So if y'all want to start with where you're from, what you do, anything okay. you want the people to know. Well, first things first. I know we look just alike, but we're actually not twins. Okay. We are a year and a day apart. I was uh, born September seventh, oh two, and she was September eighth, oh three. Yes, so I'm nineteen. Related. She's twenty. Yes, okay. and um, we do TikTok full time. Yes, um, we're about to hit four million, which is million? crazy. Yeah. Wait, I haven't. <laughs> Which is crazy. I know. I, mean, I can't even believe it either. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. I'm baffled as Four well. Because we just be filming videos yeah. and I'm like, dang, like people, people, people watch actually this. watch us? And I was like, I was like, hold up. Wait a minute. That's Wait a tough. minute. And but that's just, so awesome though. It's just like you guys living your life, huh? So we do a lot of like get ready with me videos. We started with um, a lot of curly hair advice too. Okay. Yeah. Um, because I used to struggle. Oh. Like I did we not did. know how to do my <laughs> hair. <laughs> it was dead. It was damaged. And okay. we like gave people advice while also learning how to do it ourselves. Yes. So. so a lot of like beauty lifestyle content is okay. our main thing. Yeah. And goofing and we, off. Yeah. yeah. Goofing off. That'll <laughs> yeah. do it. We make it relatable. I feel mm -hmm. that. Shoot. Maybe I'll get some advice. Love <laughs> <being> relatable. <laughs> you see the curls popping a little bit though. I know y'all see that. Anyway. Um, so what um, curly hair? What um, race are you guys? We are half black and half white, okay. but we, we're, we're Jamaican. Uh, Our grandma's yeah. Jamaican. Okay, yeah, she's cool, from cool, Jamaica. Cool. Okay, yep. cool, cool, cool. And then, um, so what, how do y'all like see your content growing in the future? Like what kind of goals do you guys have? Ooh. Honestly, a main thing is definitely a podcast because I feel like the videos on TikTok are good. They're relatable, mm -hmm. but I feel like we can get to know our followers more by being like more authentic and just kind of like. Vulnerable. Putting our raw self out on the internet. And okay. I feel like that's something that a podcast can do, kind of yeah. like what you guys are doing now. Yeah, yeah, um, that's so, dope. yeah. Okay. And I, then, I feel I was just gonna say, I feel like we could be more authentic and vulnerable and talk about I feel like bigger topics because right. TikTok is so short where you kind of that's have to grab people's attention, which I love because yeah. we can goof off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But more being, you know, who we actually are and talking about real things too is important. Yes. So that's dope. That's dope. Yeah. And then with this um, four million, then congrats on us there. Thank almost you. There. <laughs> there. Yeah, yeah. Well, three point nine. Three point nine. Almost there. Almost, it almost. Okay. Um, is it like so? What is it like for y'all? Like in everyday life, walking down the streets, like when people notice you, what, how does that feel? Like, is it weird? Is it like? It's, it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, I was literally gonna yeah. say it's crazy. Like. Even uh, we actually went to Coachella, and I feel like a lot of a lot of people like notice us from there. Okay. And it was so unreal to me because I think before a year ago, not as like when we would leave our house. Yeah. It'd be like every once in a while, but now I feel like every time we leave the house, it's crazy to say, but like every time we leave our house, it's like someone's like, "Hey!" Wow. And I'm like, like no. I can't even like I can't even believe it. like sometimes I'll get scared because I remember one time <laughs> I, went, I went to Target one time and this girl goes, <gasps> and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" And I was like, and then she's like, "I follow you on TikTok." I was like, "No way!" Like I I just think it's like. I don't know. It's so surreal. Like yeah. I, I don't believe it sometimes, and I'm yeah. like, you guys follow us, and it's they're and all it's, super cool too. Like yeah. everyone I met, they're genuinely the coolest people I've met. So it's crazy because everyone knows that there's good and bad to social media, mm -hmm. but somehow we found a pocket of like the best people on social media. Literally, yeah. Because when I meet people in person, they're like the sweetest, most kind-hearted people, and I'm like, where'd you guys come from? I know. <laughs> Can we be besties? I know. Like literally. <laughs> okay. I know. So it's crazy. That's it's good vibes, though. I feel like a lot of people, like a lot of creators, and like we get sick of it a little bit. But if you guys actually have 
Because some people can be pushy, but y'all have like a little little army following you around. That's dope. I don't know. I don't think. Not that I couldn't get sick of it, but like, it's the people. Like they're the reason we have a, a job. Yeah. Like True. that that part is crazy to me. Because when people are like, "Oh, what do you do?" and I'm like, "I do TikTok." Yeah. <laughs> like as a job, as a like job? that is Full crazy. Time like yeah. I would have never thought. Like five years ago, you young Kenzie. <laughs> like I had no idea what that. Did, what did uh, young Kenzie and young Malia? What did you guys want to do? I wanted to be a lawyer. A lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, talk talk. I wanted to go to cosmetology school. Okay. I love actually doing hair and makeup, so I was like, if I could do that as a job, and I technically kind of do, I'm just not certified, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> certified. I love I love doing curly hair, doing other people's hair, so that's, that's cool. something that I'm definitely interested so in. So is that something you guys kind of want to get back into lawyer and cosmetology, or is that something like you're just going to see where this goes first? I could see myself definitely like getting my cosmetology license, just because I feel like it'd be cool to actually be certified, and yeah. then just going to school for that. Um, I could definitely see myself doing that in the okay. future. Let's go. Yeah. And I don't know about being a lawyer. <laughs> I, I don't know if I want to do seven years of school. But um, I w we were just talking about this the other day because we do a lot of videos in hair salons. Okay. So, like, if I'm getting my hair braided, I'll, you know, show um, Hazel if you're watching this. She's a queen. <laughs> she does such a good job. And people love her. Yeah. And, like, they love, like, the genuine interaction that we have when we're talking. Uh -huh. So I thought it would be cool if, like, one day if we had, like, a hair salon where we did curly cuts. But we like oh. we did that and we filmed that too and then yeah. we could like talk to clients and show them how to do curly hair. That'd be dope. I was like, that would Shoot, be a cool. If y'all did a, one of your podcast episodes in a hair salon, that'd be kind of cool too. Yeah, Wouldn't that's that, a good yeah. idea. Yeah. So look at y'all, look entrepreneurs. Just <laughs> ideas though, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I feel like I have. Ideas. I feel like I have a lot of ideas exactly. and I'm like, okay, let's let's, let's be realistic. Let's, let's hone in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> focus up. Focus up. I feel that. I feel that. All right, y'all ready for this? Uh, the don't trip questions. Yes. Let's do it. Let's hit them. So what age? do you recommend is appropriate to start dating? Ooh, Ooh. okay. This, I oh, feel wait, like wait, it goes. Wait, 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 wait. Don't trip. Ooh. Mm. Check. We got you. Yeah, <laughs> we got y'all. Okay. We got okay. y'all. Go ahead. Um, I feel like it varies person to person. Okay. Um, personally, before I was like 16, I just felt like, I wasn't really at the maturity level to know what I wanted out of a partner uh -huh. and what I wanted out of a relationship. Mm -hmm. um, so, but then again, there could be a really mature really 14. Matures. I don't okay. know. You know, okay. so highly it's like. Unlikely, yeah. Yeah. Highly <laughs> unlikely, though. Highly unlikely. It's like you don't really know yourself yet. I feel like you have yeah. to be stable as a person uh -huh. and know what you want to. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Also, too, that was like our parents were like, once you can drive, yeah. you can go on a date. <laughs> really? <laughs> but I feel like in high school, it's like, okay, you can go out, you know, have fun. But also at the same time, like, it, just know it's probably not going to last. At That's least for me, true. like. That's very you, true. Yeah. yeah, everyone's very immature, and it's just not, it's probably not gonna. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because I, I remember uh, when we wanted to go on a date when we was like younger, it was, I think we was 15, 14, and my, like, it was just like, what do you, how are you gonna get there first? Yeah. Like, you can't drive. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna do? You're gonna have your mom take you on this date right yeah. now. Just, that's embarrassing. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, so, I mean, if you do it, you do it, but like, it's just, and then, uh, like, I feel like people don't necessarily always date to marry. That's which true. is a thing. And like when you're 16, 14, whatever, you're not thinking about marriage. You're probably waiting, um, unless you're in a special case, but whatever. <laughs> but you're not thinking about marriage till you're 20-some, 30-some, and it's just like, what, what are you dating for? Just companionship and all that stuff? Yeah. I get that, but if you're not at dating with the intent to marriage, it, it's the lasting and like the product might not always be what you want. Right. So that's hard. But oh, That's so true. Okay, so as parents, what age would you let your kids start dating? I, for me, would say high school. High I school? think it's fun. Like okay. it's cute, you know, they yeah. can go out on a little well, date, but I mean, like... Obviously, I'm going to talk to them, you know, give them advice, maybe, like, being realistic. But okay. also, I mean, have fun, you know? Okay. Also, there is a percent chance. Like, there I is. never know. You're I met lying. my man when I was 17. Okay. And we've been together for two and a half, almost three years. So, Aww. like, Aww. that's, Aww. <laughs> but, okay, so we didn't go to the same high school. Yeah. But, I mean, it can happen. And I've heard other stories of people where they met in high little school. High school. Okay. So, it's like, mm -hmm. there's, mm -hmm. there's that little percentage where it could happen. But it's small, small. Okay. It's, it's so, small, you never, you, yeah, you never you know. You never know. You never know. I feel Very that. Very true. Okay, so, dating, Liza. What's the worst date you've been on? If y'all, if y'all date, <laughs> I don't know if y'all be Okay, <laughs> so, okay, so I remember in high school, like, I always remember my parents were like, Guys only want one thing, which is mostly yeah, valid. Like just, parents, not, not always. Uh, oh, sorry, not always. Not but always. Yeah. Not <laughs> always. I'm not saying that, but you know, ninety nine point nine nine nine. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, oh. <laughs> just kidding. But um, I remember like in high school, I didn't really date that much. Yeah. I feel like because so we did online school. Okay. So we weren't really in a social setting with a lot of people. Uh, okay. Um, and we were kind of sheltered as kids. Like we weren't really, you know. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we were we were sheltered. We were homebodies yeah, for like sure. I've like had that. some interesting stories though. Yeah. So I don't have really. That many stories. <laughs> really? Go ahead. Well, yes, it's not. It wasn't technically a date because I wasn't really allowed to like go out and hang out with a boy by myself because uh-huh. I was like fifteen. I was like a freshman. But um, long story short, we like talked about ending things because we were probably dating for maybe two weeks. Okay. Like you know. Okay. A long Slowly. high school relationship. <laughs> long last. Anyways, this man or this boy sends me <laughs> <laughs> sends me a picture of a Confederate flag in his room. Um, yep. yep. So that was, you know. Uh, wow. I was not expecting yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, was, was this like a breakup text or was it like a, why did Yeah, you... <laughs> like we were talking on Snap and like we mutually agreed. And I was like, I don't know where this is. I, like it literally came out of nowhere, and I was like, "Oh." Oh no. Nah. <laughs> um, also, I don't know if you know where Cave Creek is, yeah, yeah. but it's a very like country town. Uh, so we mm. grew up over there in high school. So it was, uh, it was an interesting, it was an interesting experience. Yeah, yeah to be, say the least. It'd yeah. Be like that. Yeah. Yeah. It do okay. be like but that. But that was definitely one of my. Oh wow. Yeah. Bad so date stories. <laughs> how did y'all? If y'all were, that's that's a great story. I. I, I really <laughs> that. Um, <laughs> uh, how did you guys um, like meet people if you were online the whole time? Um, we did we actually, go to school for a year. Yeah. Oh, okay. So go ahead. Oh yeah. So we went to a public high school for our freshman year, and then after that, we got taken out, and then we did online school after oh, that. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So most of your freshman fr- friends, like you guys, were in the same area, and you like stayed cool. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then we kind of moved away, and so Kenzie and I were secluded for a while, like pretty much sophomore to senior year, and that's when we kind of like worked, and then that was kind of when we started social media too. Uh, okay. So we so were out of school. Okay. Okay. And TikTok was your guys' first thing. You guys make a YouTube first. Yeah. What did you do? We actually technically did yeah. do YouTube first, but yeah. it was super cringy. I feel like everybody like, be on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we ended up deleting like all of our videos because really? we were like, "Oh, this is cringy." Uh-huh. But she actually made me um, do like a TikTok dance when it first came out, and I was mm-hmm. like, "What's TikTok?" Yeah. She was like, "Just do it," and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> and here we are. Yeah, <laughs> so no, like, do you thank me now? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Crazy little sis. I feel that. Okay, okay. I feel like I feel like you guys should. You have your old videos still, like the ones you deleted. No, no. I'm like they say, I are. Feel like your fans would appreciate watching. Deleted. No, I I they were kind of funny though. Like I feel like if we left them up, it would be like a good laugh, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We did good one cringe. video. It was like teachers versus students, and we would literally, like love live serve. You know oh, them. Like we would literally see. low key do that. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. But we not have, in we a have funny Rhino way. on the show actually. I saw that yeah, episode. Yeah. Yeah. He's funny. He's, <laughs> he's a character. But okay. Okay. Um. Oh. This is okay. How do you maintain a relationship with someone? Even after they betrayed you, Ooh, don't trip. We got, we got you. you. Mm-hmm. That's tough. That's actually that is tough. tough. <sighs> Could you read that one more time? Like <laughs> yeah, I need to take yeah, that yeah, in. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> now, how do you maintain a relationship with someone after they betray you? Well, I think that that's up to your own personal values. Yeah. yeah. Do you take that, or do your standards say otherwise? Okay. Like I feel like if someone, it's a certain line. You know what I mean? Like, if it's the first time and it's slight, mm-hmm. maybe it's just like a red flag, like a slight betrayal, just a little bit, but not, not a full up in the air. Yeah, you know, it's so, like kind of like waving a little bit, but it's not. Yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, it it really depends on. Maybe you don't take it anymore. Okay. Also, if that's something that you can look past, and it probably would take a lot of communication with your partner, like mm. both of you guys talking about it, talking it through. Um, but also too, like I know if they were to betray you, like that would be hard to not like. You wouldn't want to throw it in their face all the time, yeah, you know? So I feel like true. if you can't look past it, maybe it's time for you to move on, you know? Yeah. That's a good point. Wow. Okay, so it's like the level of betrayal, like like lying versus cheating. Like, mm-hmm. does, that, right. does that kind of play a factor? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, I think it's like if, if it's something like she said that you can look past, mm-hmm. then maybe it's like a, a little white lie, mm-hmm. yeah. you know? Okay. And then maybe you just have a conversation about it. I mm-hmm. think that conversations can solve a lot of problems. That's but also true. if it's not continual too, because like if, you know, if they keep lying, then like obviously that's going to be a problem. Yeah, you yeah. Know? actions speak louder than words. Right. Conversations mm-hmm. can do true. a lot, but actions speak louder. Okay. So. I like that. Actually, speaking, you heard that. You guys heard. She said actually. We're going to hear first, folks. Please. <laughs> please. There's been facts right now. But we're going to switch a little bit Ooh. and then get to red flag, green flag. Ooh. So we got red flags and green flags actually submitted from the girls here, from their fans. And if it's something you can look past or like we just said, if it's something you can look past, it's a green flag. Okay. Or if something you actually like, which might not be the case. But if it's something you look past or like, green flag. If it's something that's a... No, 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 red, and then we'll talk about why you think that's a okay. That's a big so deal. green could be like a yellow flag too. Yeah, yeah okay, it's green okay, could be yellow as well. Okay. okay, when he treats his mom badly, Ooh, major red, red flag. Major. Red. Okay, how come? Because if he treats his mom poorly, or literally anyone in his family, like 
he's eventually going to treat you that way. Ooh, okay. So okay. point blank, honestly, there's I'll, nothing else to say about that. <laughs> also, I feel like family is such a big thing, yeah. right? you know? So it's like if family is somebody that should be maybe your first priority, mm -hmm. it should be pretty high up on the list. And you wouldn't want to treat somebody that you value and respect and love in a bad way. That's true. That's yeah. True. yeah. And yeah. I think one of the big things, especially if it's a boy with y'all, it's a woman that he's disrespecting. Like yes, the, right. And it's the woman that brought him into this world, like one of the supposed to be the, one of the most important women in his life, and he's disrespecting her. Uh, it doesn't really bode well for you in the future. It's mm -hmm. like, or Very your true. daughter, how he treats everybody else, other women. It's just, you got to respect your mama. Like, that's just that's just ground one. I'm okay up to you. I, I totally you don't agree. have to like her. Some people don't like their family. Some people don't like their whatever, but you got to respect your family. I feel yeah. Like. Respect the so, big thing. I, yes. I totally agree with mm -hmm. that. 100%. So, Treat a lady real good, fellas, and then uh, it's happy, happy life. That's, that's the key. That's the key. Because <laughs> they can be a lot. <laughs> All right. If he goes through your phone, red flag or green flag? Oh. Mm. 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 I like I might, we have like this. I might let it slide. Yeah. Might I might slide. let it slide. Okay, okay, but the like, the circumstance though. Yeah. Because I feel like it shouldn't be behind your back. Okay. And like snooping through your phone. Yeah. But maybe if they have like a concern or something or you like want reassurance, I feel like that's fine. I, I it could get toxic kind of quickly. Could mm -hmm. be. Could be. So, but I feel like it's in like the little yellow area okay. for me. Yeah, I agree. So like first time around, if he's like a little concerned or something, you're like, oh no, it's fine. Like look through my phone. Yeah. But if he keeps asking and it's, it's like. Obsessive. Yeah. Yeah. It's obsessive. Yeah. When it's obsessive, I feel like it, there's a problem because then it's like that he's not really trusting you, okay. you know? Okay. Yeah, trust should be the foundation of your relationship. Yeah. And yeah. I feel like communication is key as well, like I said. So if he has a question, uh -huh. ask me first. And yeah, then we can yeah. talk about it, discuss. But if there's like a real issue and I don't have anything to hide, I'm not yeah. I'm not afraid to be like Yeah. Yeah, go Here's ahead. The phone. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. You know, so <laughs> respectable. Yeah. Okay. So would you guys look through a guy's phone or have you looked through a guy's phone? I don't think I would. Okay. I don't well that's tough. I don't know. Yeah. Um because hmm. I don't feel like I'm just going to go through it. If there's no reason to, yeah. I'm not going to be like, oh, give me your phone. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Maybe, okay. Mm. No, I would say the same. I feel like, mm, I don't know. Yeah. Like, like, imagine, though, if there was, like, some good allegations, like, if you had, a, a, like, a real good reason to, like, not trust whoever If you got a hey, girly text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, in, in the DMs, True. someone's like, hey, girl. Oh, I might, I might need to check that phone. But, <laughs> of course, I feel Wait, like see. I would probably, I would ask him first. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um if it came down to that, but okay. probably not. So you would never, like, if he went to the bathroom, left it unlocked, on his, on the bed, and you had an inkling, would you look through the phone? I, no. I don't, I don't snoop, because no. okay. we both, my partner and I, we both have, like, face ID yeah. on each other's phones. Okay. So, like, that signals to me that there's nothing to hide. Okay. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. it's there if I wanted to, but I don't really, don't I don't to. really have the inclination to be, like. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's you know? See, yeah. The crazy part is, though. Not in your partner, great. You guys are <laughs> yeah. good, good, good. good. You're like, but, but, but men, as as a whole, I was just talking to this about what the guys I told you about. He's he's used like that as reverse psychology. Yep. Mm. So he'll be like, no, look through my phone. No, you could have this. And she's like, no, Ooh. you trust me. It's fine. Like, I believe you. I have all access. And then she just doesn't look because she thinks she has all the like all the all the details or whatever. Or if she's like, I know you're texting other girls, she's like, here, look, look. And then she feels like Oh, oh, he's he's willing to show me. Obviously, there's nothing in there. She, I would grab the phone so quick. I would look through. <laughs> like, mm. Give me that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, but nah, you y'all solid. Nah, no, nah, no, you, you know, solid. You don't go through. Don't don't use the face ID. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. All right. Okay. If he, who, this is a this is a guy, but I'm gonna switch to it. Okay. If he's a natural flirt with other girls. Like he just he doesn't do it. He's not cheating. He's like he's just flirty. Like and girls are just attracted because he's so nice. He's just a natural flirt, pretty much. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What you? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of. I don't like funny. that. Okay. Well, <laughs> well it depends like though, because I feel like some people could be naturally like outgoing, and uh -huh. if they're like that to like you know guys too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it's like you're noticeably flirting, like okay. okay. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. Relax. <laughs> Calm down. Relax. There is, I, it's a fine line, but there's still a line. Okay. Yeah. That's, you're being nice to people because I want you to respect everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like, I respect everybody, but also I don't be dropping hints. Yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. I don't, especially like if you're like a touchy person, oh. I don't oh, like that. Heck no. I don't like that. And hey, especially no. cause this is a little off topic, <laughs> but um, people always are like, oh, I'm a hug person. Oh, 
I'm a handshake person. Yeah. You know, like, hey, hey, respect it. it. Respect, respectfully. Respect it. I like that. Respectfully, like, okay. we can shake hands. That's yeah. a little touching for me. Like, I right. try to get yeah, too yeah, close yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to okay. nobody. I like that. As long, and, okay, so that I think that I think that was part of the question, actually. Um, it's like a boundary thing. Yeah. So, yeah. like, you got a man, you got a girl or whatever. If your girl's cool with you hugging, then okay, you can be a hug person. But if she's like, ah, oh, that's a little too touchy, then I think you should become a handshake person. Yeah, so yeah. It's kind of what she it does. is hard though, because like there's people that I'll see from, you know, my childhood or something yeah, yeah, that yeah. come up and give me a hug, and I'm like, mm. I don't know what to do <laughs> in that situation. I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, and then it's like, okay, awkward I'm awkward. Hug. Like, okay. okay. <laughs> so it's like, I would prefer a handshake, but sometimes it's just like, yeah. just sometimes it just kind of like happens, well, is it like, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, I was just going to say, especially if it's someone you like just met, I yeah. feel like that's unnecessary. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like, if it's like an old, like, you know, childhood friend, mm-hmm. it's fine. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of different. I don't know if it's different, but it's like more respectable. Like if I met, if I saw one of my girl childhood friends, she was like, I was like, like, Hey, whatever. We gave a hug versus if she was with her mans then I'd be like, yo, what's happening? Like, you cool? Yeah. Like, it's kind of like a, you got to kind of read the room a little bit. But yeah. if she is more of a handshake person, then you got to respect that as well. Right. So that's, that's, a, that's a even, it's a, it's a balance. You got to, got to balance that. Yeah, yeah. Right. I agree. Okay. Um, <laughs> the laugh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Guys who don't pay on the first date. Red flag or green flag. Mm. Okay. Yeah, okay. I feel like it should definitely be like a an offered thing. Obviously, I'm gonna offer too. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think, that's the, I think that's the key right yes. there. Yes, I feel like ladies should definitely offer. Yeah. But like, it's definitely like mm-hmm. it's 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 nice when the guy pays for the first date. Mm-hmm. Obviously, like after that, it's like you can do 50-50 yeah. or mm-hmm. you know I'll get it this time, you get it next time type okay. of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm a very independent person. Okay. So yeah. I would not mind paying, but I think it's a red flag if they let you. Okay. Okay. Have y'all ever? Well, I don't. I don't know <laughs> though. <laughs> I don't know though. Okay, because some people you. are, you know, they really do want to pay on the first date. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I don't mind second date. Okay. Third date, mm-hmm. we split. And, I mean, I got you second date. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's on me. It's yeah. on me. It's I got the me. next one. Exactly. <laughs> like my man and I, we've been together, like I said, two and a half years. So yeah, yeah. we have split a lot of things. Okay. You know, there's a lot of. I pay for this, you'll pay for the next one. Mm-hmm. Blah blah blah. Like <laughs> I, I'll Venmo you. I got you. Like yeah, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. So it's like. He said Cash App or Zell. Like, Zell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was too good. So it's, it's, it's either or. Okay. Yeah. But first date, I do appreciate. I do appreciate yeah. someone. I think it's just yeah. like the thought. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, have y'all ever asked a guy on a date before? No? Mm. Or kind of like. Oh, wait. Technically, yes. Okay. Yes. Go ahead. It, was, it was on Tinder. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So you you were just like how do you, how do girls ask people on dates like y'all just be like yo you trying to get a coffee or yeah I was just like oh like you want to go bowling or something okay. like I was just like you know I was yeah, straight yeah. up because it was going on for a little bit too long and I was like okay like okay, when is this guy gonna wanna, ask yeah. and I was like is he like actually interested or not so I was just like okay I'll shoot my shot you know okay. why not that's doesn't hurt and then you know we went on a date oh that's cool yeah initially I was gonna say no but then I realized yes oh okay okay so I remember. <laughs> <laughs> when was this? It was it was John. Oh, really? Yeah, when we first met. Okay. So when we first met, we had met playing basketball at the gym. Okay. And we were talking in the gym for like a while. And then once we like exchanged contact info and stuff, we were talking for like a minute on text. And then I was like, so when are we actually going to go out? That's what girls do. <laughs> nah, y'all you don't know? be asking. Y'all be, in, y'all be insinuating. Y'all like make us ask. I'm yeah. like, okay, okay. So I'm in the clear. I'm like, Let me when's the time and date? Mm-hmm. Come on now. <laughs> Although I will say it is very attractive <laughs> when a guy like fully plans a date. Yeah. Like my boyfriend did that the first day that we went on. And I was like, oh, like mm-hmm. I've never experienced it before. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I was like, wow, like. This is nice. This like, is oh, nice. he was like, okay, this is the time you're going to be ready. I'm going to pick you up. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I was like, oh, we'll just oh, go from there. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will be ready then. I will. <laughs> yeah, I'm on yeah, the dot. Yeah, sure, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, man, take a little initiative. Don't be too bushy, though. Don't be kind of crazy with it. Read yes. the room. Read the room. Make sure yeah. they want to go on the date. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, take, make sure they actually want to yeah, go on the date. <laughs> <don't just> ask <laughs> them, like, make sure they like you. <laughs> if they haven't responded to the third one, it's probably not there. <laughs> yeah. Not, if they keep making excuses. Exactly. You got to live out your name. Okay. So, that's it for red flag, green flag. And then, unless you guys have, like, some burning red flag that you want to share with the people to avoid. But mm. other than that. I don't think I have a burning red flag. No yeah, burning I, red I don't. Okay. Cool. We're going to get to simping or pimping, and ooh, then we'll ooh. get another question real quick. So, okay. fan favorite, I'm not going to lie to you, simping or pimping. We got pickup lines for you guys. A lot of them are cheesy. A lot of them are corny. <laughs> a lot of them are a little too much. But fans love them. Girls like cheesy and corny. I'm not going to lie to you. 
Like y'all always say, don't use a pickup line. Don't use a, like if you can make a look, girl laugh. We've been over and make the cheek, make the make the girl giggle. You get the cheeks jiggling. Like it's oh, like oh, it's just, oh they haven't heard this one yet. I'm sorry, but like you just gotta. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. The cameraman's I'm like, sorry. oh god. <laughs> god. <laughs> but um, so I'll drop a pickup line for you guys if you think it's a maybe or it's cute. Like you would actually like not just be like ew and then walk away. Um, then it's a it's a it's a pimping. If it's not, then it's simple. All right? Okay. Talk cool, to cool, you. cool. So the first pickup line of the day is, ooh, ooh, all right, are you a time traveler? Because I see you in my future. Simping or pimping? I wouldn't throw up. Okay. Like, I wouldn't. That's a start. <laughs> that's so a I start. would say, I feel like that's kind of generic, though. Yeah. Okay. Like, you're not being creative. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not creative enough. So it's, so it's, where are we going? Uh, I'm going to say something. Okay. Okay. I think you liked it. I think she <laughs> I liked don't know. it. Oh, she likes the cheesy ones. Exactly. John's I do. Cheesy. I do. <laughs> I do. Okay. Yeah. That's true. Okay. So, that's true. Okay. So we got a pimpin. We got okay. one pimpin. We got one simpin. Mine are all going to be pimpin. This is going to really? be bad. Really? <laughs> no, yes. I, don't, I, th- I don't think you guys will like all of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, all right. If I had a penny for every time I thought about you, I'd have one set. Because you never leave my mind. That's cute. Aw. That's cute. I think that's cute. Okay. That's yeah, that's, that's Pimpin. Pimpin. Okay. Yeah. Hey, it, it, it had a little build up, and then it, I was I was kind of lost at the beginning. I didn't understand what they're talking about. But <laughs> they had it at the end. So we got a <laughs> yeah, cool, I agree. We got a Pimpin one. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> I agree. It's crazy. All right. Next one is, you're like quicksand. The deeper I go, the harder it gets. No. 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 That's that's not no. If you start of a pickup line like that, <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, boy, if I'm I not meet, even responding. <laughs> if I meet somebody off the bat and someone says and that, someone I'm a, that, I'm going to walk <laughs> the you other way. You already know their motives right away. <laughs> hey, he just got the, he, hey, you heard it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, you already I'm know a, the motives right away. Walk <laughs> in the other direction. Okay. So <laughs> that's that me, though. Okay. Yeah, they, that's just me personally. So I don't know about you, other ladies. Hey, so other ladies. Some of y'all might be down for Maybe, maybe you are. Guys, hit the right woman. There we go. They might be down for you. Yeah, man. exactly. So you never know. All right. <laughs> Next one is, I don't think we would be good together because I have asthma and you're breathtaking. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's cheesy. That's that is... mad cheesy. Yeah. That's sipping for I'm real. I'm going to say yeah. sipping. Yeah. That is no, sipping. please don't say that because <laughs> go hyperventilate somewhere else. Like, you don't have to. <laughs> I need oh. my inhaler. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> go take a puff somewhere else. <laughs> no, take, yeah. <laughs> take your inhaler somewhere else. It's crazy. Okay. Uh huh. Excuse me. Maybe you can help me out. I seem to have lost all the feeling in my lips. Mm. No. <laughs> Simping. Simping. Yeah. Yeah. Walking up to someone and saying that is crazy. Yeah, yeah. That actually, actually is. that's like bold. right off the bat. Yeah. That's bold. Mm. I think it, a lot of these two are like the way someone says it. Really. Like I feel like if it's for me, like if someone's too aggressive mm-hmm. from the get go, I'm just like, mm. I get turned off by yeah. that. Okay. You know. And yeah. I feel like it's all in the way you execute it, but. I, I wouldn't recommend going to like a stranger and saying that. Yeah. Yes. Would you guys, would girls, how about girls? Would you ever use a pickup line? Mm. Like, I don't know a girl one. Uh, <laughs> I don't know a girl one. It'd be like, uh, you, 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 shoot. I don't know, actually. <laughs> I don't think I, I would. I feel like I could never do that in person. Really? Yeah. Huh. It would be, it'd be over like, text that's, or something that's true because yeah. i've definitely got dms of girls using like anime pickup lines or like pickup lines of stuff that i've posted or they know i like okay and then i have to reply because i'm like what do you know about anime like it's just works <laughs> so i think if you can relate it's easier to dm because you can relate it yeah with yeah one time i used this was terrible yep, but let's uh, hear it <laughs> okay i forget the exact verse but it was a bible verse oh, and okay. it was something along the lines of no man should be alone uh-huh. So I like sent that and I was like, that's, that's kind of far. That's kind of hard. <laughs> I was like, look, you get one. That's, that's kind of hard. I'm not <laughs> well, he's like, too. you shouldn't be alone. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, but yeah. What, what verse was that? I actually, <laughs> I actually don't know. Okay. Hey, hey, look it up, y'all. It's, it's got biblical marks. Some, somewhere in there. You know? There's one out there. <laughs> yeah, there's one out there that y'all can use for real. All right. Oof. Let's end it off with a couple more advice questions if I can fight the right thingy. All right. Ooh. Okay, okay. So I feel like my guy friend is kind of flirting with me, but he has a girlfriend. Ooh. What should I do? <laughs> oh, don't trip. Mm-hmm. We got you. Ooh, that's uh, not, that's not, that's a red flag right that's there. That's a red flag right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. So what do you, like, should she just, sounds like, I feel like if she's giving him the time of day, that she kind of has a crush on him. Or like, like kind of feels the same way about him. Like if she's still surrounding herself yeah. with him and like noticing, mm-hmm. that is, that is true. Yeah. So what if she wants, should she go after it and secure the bag or should she back up? Mm. 
I don't know because if he has a girl and he's flirting with someone else, yeah. I feel like that's a trust thing. Like yeah, yeah, I yeah. would probably wouldn't trust him, but yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah, he's gonna do the same thing to you. Yeah, okay. you yeah. know, later yeah. on, like it's yeah, it's possible. Yeah. Also, even if you don't know the girl, but you know that he has a girlfriend, mm -hmm. I would step back. Okay, but that's yeah, I'd probably like distance yourself. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so how do you? Oh, you. I think we mentioned this earlier. What about like them hey girl texts? If if you found out some guy hit you up or whatever, and his girl, you know, you got a girl. Mm. Are you gonna send out that hey girl text, or are you just gonna let it rock, like just ignore him or do whatever? Ooh, I might send the hey girl text. Okay. Because I would want to know. Yeah. I mean, I know everyone's different, but mm. I would want to know, and then it's up to them to be like, talk to their partner. Do mm -hmm. they just let it slide in the back of their yeah. head? Okay. Then it's kind of up to the girl, but at least, at least you told her. Yeah. What you know. I would too, because I wouldn't want to keep that from somebody, especially if it was like a friend too. Mm. Oh yeah, if you it's know, a friend, for that would sure. definitely. Yeah. 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 Okay, but I feel like a lot of I've seen a lot of stories of girls have been like, they get mad at the girl who's telling them about it, you know, because they're like, why, why you're probably in his DMs, blah 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 blah, like he's probably fine, Ooh. and like, so I feel like that's why some girls are hesitant, and I know some girls that have lied about it, you know, Ooh. Oh, okay. like they'll be like. Like they try to sabotage a relationship by trying to get at it, so I feel like it's a delicate line to walk on, which is hard. That's, that's true. toxic. I mean, if you have that's toxic friends, toxic. it might be it might be a tough scenario. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it is. I feel like you can't control other people's actions mm -hmm. or what they're gonna think about you. So as long as you know you're doing the right thing, and if your moral conviction is telling you, I should tell this girl, yeah, then do that. If it's if your moral conviction ain't telling you that, then and maybe don't. <laughs> you know, it's up to you. <laughs> yeah, at that point. Okay. That's respectful. All right. I like that. Okay. We'll hit one more question. Ooh, let me, let me answer this. <laughs> How do I get a boyfriend? I'm 19 and I've never been on a date. Don't trip. We got, we got you. you. Honestly, putting yourself out there. Okay. I definitely will say, like, doing things that you are interested in, like maybe a dance class, maybe, I don't know, whatever it may be. Putting uh -huh. yourself out there doesn't hurt. Um, I don't know if I'd say dating apps. I've never really had good luck on there. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't hurt to try, yeah. you know. So that's what I would say: putting yeah. yourself out there. Okay. Especially, it's hard when you're not in school. Like I know for me, like once Kenzie and I graduated and everything, even before that, because we did online school, so it was kind of lonely, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, where do you go? Do you go to the gym? Like obviously. Tight. Yeah, yeah. So it's hard to find people, especially when you're not in school, or like if you don't have an extracurricular, like an activity, something that you like to do. So I would just say. Put yourself out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe not the gym necessarily, but yeah, like a no, class. No. <laughs> like if you take like a boxing class, okay. if you do a dance class, um, yeah, the gym we actually, we did modeling classes and we met so many friends there. Really? That's where I met my boyfriend. Okay. So, That's so it's weird because I didn't feel like I would meet cool people there. And like our, most of our friend group is from our modeling class, which is crazy. Like I didn't really like, it didn't, we didn't plan for that to happen that mm -hmm. way. So That's dope. Yeah. I feel like, yeah. And cause I did sports in college. So like most of my friends are from my sport or like how growing up doing stuff that like we did even in high school like if you were in high school you were friends with people in your club in your sport or whatever right, right. So yeah whatever you want to do go put yourself out there uh be weary i feel like yeah you're 19 you haven't been on a date that sucks but you shouldn't <laughs> sorry <my laughs> that fault. sucks my fault. <laughs> He's like straight to the facts <laughs> but you shouldn't be don't be in a, like don't push anything that you don't want to do because there's people that aren't looking out for the best of you they might take you out might, might want something else mm -hmm. they might take you out just play with your emotions and then get rid of you like yeah you don't want to just jump into something because you want to go in yeah not country. being desperate yeah. that's mm -hmm. that's a big go, one yeah. i i heavily agree with that because mm -hmm. i feel like when i I was never really looking for a relationship. I was yeah. just kind of vibing in life. Mm -hmm. But I also <laughs> feel like I knew what I wanted, uh -huh. where like if I stumbled across that, cool. then I'd be okay. like, cool. But I was never like, oh my gosh, like I need a man right now. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. it was never like that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like once you start having that, like, oh, I need a relationship right this second, so you find the wrong that's people. when you find yeah, the wrong people yeah, yeah. and that's you get true. yourself in trouble. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And we, we talk about this all the time because girls, we feel like, we feel like girls have it easier sometimes. Have y'all ever been like rejected from a guy like you really wanted, but like just you couldn't like he didn't even give you the time of day. Like it was just like, nah, you're not my type. You're not you're not rocking. I'm not rocking with you. Have you ever been rejected? I don't think you so. Don't no. think so? No. I mean, one time in like sixth grade, but like that was like, you know, young, a uglier child. me. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> a child. Understandable. Okay. Nah, we feel like Bruh. Yeah, we'd be talking about me and JB talking about how girls should just shoot their shot. Cause I feel like like she just said, she's never been on a date, but she might have talked to people that like like took too long with with your bowling thing like you could be like yo you trying to go bowling if it's someone that you're actually interested in and he's just not taking the time to like ask you yeah. out for real mm -hmm. so shoot your shot if if that's kind of what's what's waiting on it maybe the guys are shy some guys are shy like you might want a dominant guy that's going or 
dominant, whatever, uh, forward guy. There we go. That's going to, like, make his move or whatever. But some guys, might he might not know if you're feeling them. You might be acting a little different. So just uh, put yourself out there. Like they said, different scenarios, different, different yes. whatever you got to do. I'm, so. I'm going to agree with you. Mm -hmm. I do think that guys have it a little harder a little because harder. I feel like – they're the ones that usually take the first step yeah. and which could lead to rejection. Yeah. So and there's so much pressure too. Yeah. There's a lot of pressure. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I understand that. Yeah, I, yeah. but it doesn't hurt too, to be like, Oh, Hey, like let's do an activity. Uh -huh. Like that's such a, like a fun way of just saying like, Hey, let's like, let's hang out. Is know? it different? So say a guy comes up with like mad confidence, like, yo, what's up? My name, blah, blah, blah. We going out versus a guy that's like, Hey, blah, 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 like a little shaky, a little nervous to talk to you. Is that like, would that affect your answer to him? Asking you about yes. It would. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I think there's a difference between confidence and arrogance yeah. and being cocky. I know Very true. <laughs> we, even when I was single yeah. and if like a like a good looking guy would come up and, and ask me, you know, Act for my hot. number, I'm like <laughs> <laughs> respectfully no. Respect. Yeah. Like no. even if I thought he was like a good looking dude, I'd yeah, be like, yeah, yeah. no. Okay. Just because yeah, they feel like they're like entitled. Actually. Yes. So that's it's, what it is. It's kinda yeah. They like, cool. I deserve your number. Like you don't know me. You don't know me. You don't at know all. me at all. So it's yeah. like crazy. I think it depends. Um, but I feel like in the middle, mm -hmm. you know, if also if there's a way in the world where you can meet somebody and have conversations without being like straight to the point. Okay. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. you kind of like inch into it a little yeah, bit yeah, yeah. and then you're like, oh, yeah, let's plan something. Facts. I like that. I feel nah. like it's very but, smooth and natural. And mm -hmm. you can still be confident and respectful at the same yes. time. Like it doesn't have to be demanding, like give me your number now mm -hmm. or like in, in an arrogant way. So I feel like definitely being respectful. If you're nervous, it's fine. Like sometimes yeah, yeah. it happens, you know, but like. It happens to the best. Yeah. Ways. It does. It really does. But ease into it, like she said, I think, because I don't know. If I'm ever going to get a girl's number, I'm not going to go up and be like, yo, what's your number? Like, you got to, yo, them, them the Jordan ones right there? Like, oh, those is fire. Where'd you get them? You like Jordan? Like, you play ball, you hoop, whatever. Like, oh, yeah, that's cool, cool, cool. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, oh, I got to go. My boys call me. But if you're cool, we, I can cut up your number real quick. Something like that. Like, yeah. real smooth. Perfect. Like, see, see, perfect. Little <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll clap. We'll oh, clap. God. We'll clap. We'll clap. <laughs> but just take your time. Stay easy. This is a little off topic of the question. But, um, ma'am. You're good. You're 19. You're young. You got a lot of years ahead of you. Yep. Um, you got time to find your man. Just gonna be work on it, pray on it. Just don't rush into it. So, you good. But that is this episode of Don't Ooh. Trip. Yeah, the this girls. Was so fun. Yeah, the girls killed it. I'm not gonna cap. Oh, um, thank you. Mm -hmm, thanks for mm -hmm. having us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks course. for yeah, having us on. <laughs> yeah, we're still once. Hey, hey, this is a AZ AZ Studio AZ Podcast Studio. AZ Pod Studio. Once we get this little setup where I can do like twenty people, we gonna have a, I'm gonna have a whole entourage of people, and the girls is invited. <laughs> we are gonna have a whole episode, but okay. hopefully we have so them down. back on. Go check out their content. Their podcast is coming out soon. Shoot, maybe we'll do a collab once they're more established, Ooh. and then we can get them a little love as well. Um, but uh, is there any last words you guys want to say to the people? Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for yeah. having us yeah. on. Okay. Of I think I think we covered. I think we covered most of it. This, yeah, was, a, yeah. this was a juicy episode. This yeah, juicy I'm excited episode. to see yeah. it. It's, it's going to be dope. <laughs> Make sure, hey, check it out if you want. Spotify, thanks for listening to the whole thing. Apple Music, whatever you're listening to. Um, YouTube, if, you haven't, if you're listening and you want to watch, see the girls, see the reaction, see the red flag, green flags flying everywhere, go tap in on YouTube. Shorts is up. Go follow us on Instagram. We're going to keep posting, keep stuff coming for y'all. But uh, most of all, uh, don't trip. Don't trip, y'all. We mm -hmm. got you. Yeah. See you next time. <laughs> see you next Bye. time for real.